Ronald Lauder, who is heir to the Estee Lauder Cosmetics Fortune, also a major donor to University of Pennsylvania. In fact, the Lauder Institute there at UPenn is named for his family. He's just the latest to slam his alma mater for its unwillingness to take a stand against anti-Semitism. Now, we reviewed a note that he'd written the president of UPenn, Liz McGill, saying that he was deeply sorrowful and grieved by the school's unwillingness to stand against anti-Semitism. He called out not just its unwillingness to stand against Hamas, but also a literature festival that the campus had hosted last month. Now, the pro-Palestine literature festival featured a number of voices who've called for the death to Israel. One author had even said that Israel is a demonic, uh, satanic project, and she was looking forward to its death. Roger Waters, who's actually been banned from New Penn's campus because of anti-Semitism, he zoomed into the event as well. Now, it's unclear what his next steps will be. He said in the letter that he's re-examining his financial relationship with Penn. He also said there at the Lauder Institute he does not want anyone who was involved with that festival to teach those students. Now he joins a number of top Wall Street hedge fund types who are saying they're no longer going to donate to these institutions. But I think it's interesting in all of this, these schools have such massive endowments. UPenn has a $20 billion endowment that they likely can survive off of that for quite some time. So it's unclear what the administration is going to do next, but certainly a lot of pressure facing them.